Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you guys could tune back in for another Majayish Monday. So, for that. Um, thanks for all the love on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I really appreciate it. Um, for all those who have subscribed, you know, that's appreciated greatly. Um, soon I will be doing a raffle giveaway, but I'm waiting until I get to 8,000 um, likes on Instagram. Um, the rules and all that stuff will be posted when I post up the giveaway. Um, but I'm excited to do that because I've been like racking up on stuff. To do multiple giveaways so stay tuned for much more i will give a shout out to uh, colourpop cosmetics um i ordered four eyeshadows from them i ordered um what is it bill dare and hammered and deck so i ordered four um if you guys want to check out the swatches they are available on instagram so check them out there um for my look today i actually used um LA Girls uh, Glaze Paint, and it's funny because I have a ton of these, I barely get to use them. This color is in blushing, but again, you know, as always, I will put all the information that you need to know about how I choose this look in the description box below. Um, today, I also decided to lighten up my brows, so I use Boy Girl um, by MAC. So in the video, I don't do that, but I did it, you know, behind the scenes every day. So having said that, I'm going to end it there. Um, sorry about the voiceovers all the time, but the truth is my household has too much going on. Um, the only reason why it's quiet now is because my two-year-old's napping and the dog is as well. So uh, check me out as usual. Please like, please rate, please subscribe, and um, check me out on other social, social medias. That'll be below as well. Thank you for tuning in. Bye now. First, I'm going in with Latte by Makeup Geek. It's a good transition color. I've been using it in a lot of my everyday looks and lately in my videos. Make sure you blend that out well. Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit of Cocoa Bear just to give it some dimension. And make sure you blend all these colors together. And you guys know, I always say the same thing. Blend, blend, blend. Go over each color as many times as you need to to achieve the look you want. And now I'm just going in with a little Corrupt from Makeup Geek, which is a matte black. And that's just to give my crease a little bit more dimension before applying the eyeshadow from ColourPop Cosmetics. Now I'm going in with the ColourPop Cosmetics in the color Dare. Uh, again, available on Instagram, all the swatches, so you can see the colors. You can use your fingers, which is what I chose to do, or you can use a brush, whichever you're more comfortable with. And now I'm just using a clean blending brush to blend the colors Cocoa Bear and Corrupt together so that the colors are seamless. As always, make sure to blend, blend, blend. Now I'm going back in with the same pointed brush that I was using with Corrupt, just retouching that area to give it some more dimension. And of course, now I'm just blending it out. And just keep blending until you're satisfied with the colors meshing together. I'm just going in adding a little bit more Cocoa Bear because um, it seems it didn't show up as much as I had liked. Now going in with my brow color, I believe I used the um, Peaches in Cream. And that's by Makeup Geek as well. I'm really loving her eyeshadows. And you can add colors, um, basically the colors that you use, you can keep adding more until you get the color payoff that you want. So I'm going back over with the ColourPops Cosmetics eyeshadow 
which is really, 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 really good stuff. Like I remember when I opened up the package, I was like, okay, cool. I'm so accustomed to my individual pans. But when, as soon as I opened it and I did the swatch, like I knew it was good stuff. It was really soft. It almost felt like lotion, really good stuff. And as you can see, I'm just repeating the steps over and over again. Any color that you lost, you always can bring it back. So I'm always careful about not adding too much eyeshadow in the beginning because once you put it down, you cannot take it off. So it's best to do little bits at a time until you get the buildup that you want. Now I'm just going in with my eyeliner, um, the one I've been fascinated with this past uh, month. Uh, again, I will list all the products below. Um, this time I went more for a flat um, line. I really didn't wing it up too high. Um, I just kind of pulled it out. And it's all because I love these lashes by House of Lashes. They're called Siren. Um, they're very like wispy and they're very long toward the middle and the edges are shorter. So you didn't need much wing for those lashes. Now going in and just uh, doing my waterline with a little eyeliner from Inglide. I love it because it's the blackest of the black and it's very creamy. I realize I don't have to tug at my eye like I used to with some other liners. Now I'm just going in with a little mascara. This is a drugstore one, the one I've been using in all my tutorials via NYC. Now I'm going in with my Lime Crime lipstick, and I'm only using this color in the center, and I'm basically taking um, a darker eyeshadow mixed with a Duraline um, to kind of create a liquid texture for my lip. And I just used a random purple from a City Color Cosmetic um, eye palette that I had. You can use any purple that you have. Just make sure it's dark. And that's just to give it an ombre effect also to give the lip some dimension. I really didn't like the look so I did um, change my lip for the purposes of pictures but I mean whatever floats your boat right? And pretty much that's it. That's the final look. So I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you guys the next time. I'm so glad that you guys could tune in for my JH Mondays. Um, forgive me, I have a bad like nasal, it's not even a cold, it's like nasal. Oh my God.